Hi, this is Kim Shanley for Tennis Reach. Today I'd like to do a quick tip called Save the Hit, which comes from the fourth part of our ongoing series, Zombies and Athletes of God. Here we are looking at the forehand of Novak Djokovic, 12-time Grand Slam champion. When it comes to the great professional athletes, we always wonder, how do they make it look so easy? Where does all the power come from? The power comes from what I call the ripple of power, a term I borrowed from the martial arts. Basically, it's how the body generates power from the ground up with a strong connection and root in the, in the ground with a vertical push up with the powerful muscles of the legs into the even more powerful section of our midsection of our pelvis and hips where we do a, a quick pivot and snap which sends the torso in rotation and finally the arm through the hip. Here we see Novak preparing to initiate his forehand stroke. And we see his left leg is bent and his left foot is pushing off from an angle to the ground. And the red circle is around his left gluteus maximus or left butt cheek. The glutes are the major muscle that connects our upper leg with our pelvis and hips. In the next frame, we see that Novak has straightened out his left leg, driving vertical energy into this pelvic hip snap. And we see the first major pivot of this large muscle mass. But please note that Novak's arm, hand, and racket are still not touching the ball. Novak is doing what all great pros do. He's saving the hit. In other words, he is saving the power of the core, the ripple of power, until he reaches contact with the ball. Now at the next frame, we're at the moment of contact. But again, note that his left buttocks has not rotated fully around. He's saving the power of the hit by executing this pelvic hip snap at and during the moments of contact. Our rackets are in contact with the ball up to five milliseconds. This is 20 times longer than a golf club is in contact with a golf ball and 10 times longer than a baseball bat is in contact with a baseball. So while we don't have a lot of time with the ball in tennis, we have much more time to transfer power and manipulate the direction and spin of the ball in tennis than in these other sports. In the final frame, we see the ball has left Novak's racket and he is in the immediate moment after contact. Here, by looking at his left butt cheek, we see the after of the hit. The left buttocks is now fully spun around in the follow through after contact. When the ball has left the racket, we can no longer add power to the hit. So it's the right moment for the body to fully rotate around in the aftermath of the momentum of this hit. So with Save the Hit, we have a great expression, a self-tuning tool, which we can use in our practice. All it takes now is going out there and doing it. Remember, each and every time, mentally, check with yourself, did I save the hit or not? If you haven't, keep working on it.